And joining us now is senior aviation business reporter David Slotnick. David, thank you so much for your time this evening. Thanks for having me. You know, big travel weekend. Uh, we were tracking the 4th of July holiday. Things were actually better than expected. Was that a fluke or are things, in fact, getting better here? Well, it doesn't seem like a fluke necessarily. It seems like what's setting things off are basically bad weather, basically just thunderstorms, the kind of things that we see throughout the summer normally. Uh, we got lucky in that that didn't have too much of that on uh, the 4th of July weekend. The problem is, you know, that happens all the time. So it's very likely that we're going to see it again some travel weekend uh, at some point this summer. It's really just a matter of time, I would say. Uh, a matter of time, not over yet. So a lot of what we've seen plague the airline and in travel industry right now has to do with workforce and that shortage. So what exactly is the dilemma now in getting people back to work? Well, so it's just a really long ongoing problem. There's been, uh, as Secretary Buttigieg said this morning, a, a long standing shortage, especially of pilots um, within the aviation sector. Now, this is something that we've known about for years, and it's been something that was many years away, and it was just sort of accelerated because of COVID. Um, we're at a point now where, you know, it's just taking the airlines a long time to hire pilots. It's not something you can do overnight. You don't just hire somebody and train them. Uh, you need people with thousands of hours of experience. You need people with weeks of training on your specific airlines policies, on your specific airlines planes, practices, all of that. Uh, and that takes a very long time. You know, on top of that, it's a situation now where airlines are sort of competing against each other. There's aren't quite enough pilots to go around yet. Mm. Um, and really, it becomes the same thing throughout the rest of the uh, sector, throughout the rest of the economy. You know, it's it's very hard to hire people right now. There are just more jobs than people. Um, and that's leading to things ranging from delays and flight cancellations to, you know, long lines to check bags or get into an airport lounge or things like that. Well, we know that air travel is such an integral part of American life, right? So why do you think airlines didn't anticipate that travel would, would be picking up uh, sooner rather than later? And how bad of an underestimation is this? Well, so the thing is, they sort of did anticipate this, and this was sort of the point behind the uh, CARES Act, the idea that they were going to keep at least enough staff to keep the air travel system running. Uh, the problem is, when the CARES Act was passed, when the airlines were coming up with their pandemic era plans, the best estimation that anyone had was that demand wouldn't reach pre-pandemic levels until at least 2024. Um, you know, things happened a lot sooner. We had the vaccines quicker than people expected. Business travel came back sooner. Leisure travel exploded as soon as the vaccines were available. Um, and we're at a point where things happen basically two years faster. Um, you know, they were prepared to a degree to see travel coming back, but not quite at this scale. Um, on top of that, you know, they've tried to meet the demand and they just haven't had the staff for it. Yeah, and David, that's interesting you mentioned that. I mean, people are just tired. They are doing that revenge travel, and they're doing it this summer. Uh, I want to get your insight. What about traffic control? How do any issues there get resolved? Yeah, you know, it's another one of those things. It's an ongoing problem. Um, there's been a shortage overall of air traffic controllers for, you know, decades. This is not a new thing. Um, it's just another one of those coming out of COVID issues where it's taking a little longer to hire people, train them, and really deploy them effectively. Uh, that's one of the things that the DOT and the airlines have said they're working closely together on, figuring out the most efficient way to use air traffic controllers, uh, things like offering overtime, and really just making sure that that system can handle the capacity that we're seeing. All right, David Slotnick, we certainly appreciate your time. Have a good evening. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.